Is it a good idea to invest in crypto? Is crypto the future of money? Or is it a dangerous bubble waiting to burst? Can you really make a fortune investing in cryptocurrencies? The world of crypto is where the potential for massive gains and staggering losses exists side by side. With the explosion of Bitcoin, Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies, the question is, should you invest in crypto? Let's look at the pros and cons of investing in cryptocurrency. Welcome to Knowledge Pilot. Is investing in crypto safe? It is possible to make a lot of money by investing in crypto, but it is also possible to lose your entire investment. There are huge risks. So, you should consider doing this as part of a diversified portfolio. Let's look at some cryptocurrency risks. In comparison to stock exchanges, cryptocurrency exchanges are more susceptible to being hacked or becoming the targets of other criminal activities. Due to these vulnerabilities, many investors have suffered substantial losses when their digital currencies were stolen. Consequently, several exchanges and third-party insurers have started providing protection against security breaches. While cryptocurrency exchanges like Coinbase make buying and selling cryptocurrencies, such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, a fairly easy process. Many investors are hesitant to store their digital currencies on these exchanges due to the risks involved in allowing any company to control access to their assets. When you store your cryptocurrency on a centralized exchange, you don't have complete control over your assets. An exchange could freeze your assets based on a government request. And if you don't have possession of your private keys, you may not be able to access your funds. Additionally, if the exchange goes bankrupt, you may have no recourse to recover your money. The government could ask an exchange to freeze your assets, or the exchange could go out of business, leaving you with no way to get your money back. While some investors prefer to keep their digital assets on exchanges, others opt for offline cold storage options, such as hardware wallets, to minimize the risk of hacks or security breaches. Unfortunately, Losing your private key is also a risk with this method. Digital money cannot be accessed without a private key. Crypto fraud. In addition to the challenges of safekeeping, investing in crypto is not a guarantee of success. The crypto market is fiercely competitive with thousands of crypto projects vying for your attention. Some of these could be fraudulent and investors can lose significant amounts of money. Only a small percentage of crypto projects succeed and deliver returns to investors. Government intervention. Another risk factor to consider is the potential for regulatory crackdowns on the entire cryptocurrency industry. Governments worldwide are still grappling with how to regulate digital currencies, and some countries have already taken steps to ban or restrict their use. A crackdown by regulators could significantly impact the value of cryptocurrencies, causing significant losses for investors. New technology. Furthermore, the innovative technology involved in cryptocurrencies adds to the risks associated with investing in them. While that technology has the potential to revolutionize industries and create new business models, much of it is still in development and not yet extensively proven. Cryptocurrency is growing. Despite the potential risks associated with investing in cryptocurrencies, the industry continues to grow and gain strength. Many companies are building much-needed financial infrastructure and providing investors with access to institutional-grade custody services, which can help manage and safeguard their digital assets. Furthermore, crypto futures markets are being established and numerous companies are gaining direct exposure to the cryptocurrency sector. Financial giants like Block and PayPal have made it easier for investors to buy and sell cryptocurrency on their platforms. Additionally, some companies like Block have invested hundreds of millions of dollars in Bitcoin and other digital assets, while others, such as Tesla, have made significant purchases of cryptocurrencies. As of January 2024, Tesla is reported as holding 10,000 Bitcoin, which today is about three quarters of a billion dollars. Overall, these developments suggest that despite the challenges, the cryptocurrency industry is becoming more mainstream and gaining acceptance from traditional financial institutions and large companies. Another company that has made significant investments in cryptocurrency 
is MicroStrategy, a business intelligence software firm. Since 2020, the company has been accumulating Bitcoin and as of February 2024, is reported to be holding $13 billion worth of the digital asset. The growing use of cryptocurrencies by individual investors, as well as companies like Tesla and MicroStrategy, indicates a developing market, despite the risks. More investors are thinking cryptocurrencies are secure enough to invest big quantities of money, suggesting widespread adoption. This growing acceptance is likely to lead to stronger and more secure financial infrastructure, which will make investing in cryptocurrency even less risky. Is cryptocurrency a good investment for the long term? Let's look at a couple of examples for a long-term investment. Bitcoin. Bitcoin is widely recognized as the most well-known cryptocurrency, and its popularity is fueled by the network effect, where more people want to own Bitcoin because it is owned by the most people. While Bitcoin is often viewed as digital gold, it also has the potential to be used as a digital form of cash. Investors who believe in the long-term potential of Bitcoin see it as a valuable asset because its supply is fixed. Unlike fiat currencies, such as the US dollar or the Japanese yen, the supply of Bitcoin is limited to fewer than 21 million coins. This feature means that Bitcoin is immune to inflation, which occurs when central banks print more money, leading to a decrease in the value of the currency. As a result, many investors expect Bitcoin to increase in value as fiat currencies depreciate. Moreover, some investors are bullish about the prospect of Bitcoin being extensively used as digital cash, which could potentially make it the first truly global currency. People could easily transact with each other across borders without the need for currency conversion or intermediaries such as banks. Even though this isn't likely to happen right away, many investors see it as a possible outcome that could make Bitcoin even more valuable. Ethereum. Now, let's jump to Ethereum. Ether is the platform's native coin, and investors who want to add Ethereum to their portfolios can buy it. Bitcoin can be thought of as digital gold, but Ethereum is building a global computing platform that will support many other cryptocurrencies and a huge ecosystem of decentralized applications known as dApps. Due to the large number of cryptocurrencies built on the Ethereum platform and the fact that dApps are open source, Ethereum has the chance to also benefit from the network effect and create long-term value. The Ethereum platform makes it possible to use smart contracts, which run automatically based on rules that are written directly into the code of the contract. In exchange for running smart contracts, the Ethereum network collects Ether from users. Smart contract technology has a lot of potential to change big industries like real estate and banking, as well as to create whole new markets. As the Ethereum platform is used more and more around the world, the Ether token becomes more useful and valuable. Optimistic investors about Ethereum's long-term potential can make money simply by owning Ether with the expectation that it will appreciate in value. That doesn't mean that Ethereum doesn't have competitors. Solana, Polygon and Avalanche are all Ethereum killers that are designed to handle smart contracts and use a blockchain system that can handle more transactions per second. The speed is also less expensive for users, which is a bonus. But Ethereum is the smart contract platform that most people use. Now that you have gained some basic knowledge of crypto, let's go back to the question. Should you invest in cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency diversifies your portfolio. Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin help hedge market volatility since they have low price correlations with the US stock market. Cryptocurrency's decentralization offers investors privacy and security. Yet investing in cryptocurrency has risks. Cryptocurrencies have high price volatility and are unregulated. This makes them vulnerable to fraud, hacking and other security breaches. It's crucial to do your research and understand the risks involved before making any investment decisions. If you do decide to invest in cryptocurrency, it's essential to have a clear understanding of the technology behind the currency, the market demand for it, and its potential long-term value. Diversifying your portfolio and investing just what you can afford to lose are very important risk management strategies. 
If buying Bitcoin directly seems too dangerous, there are other methods to profit from its ascent. You could buy Coinbase, Block or PayPal shares for instance. You may also invest in the newly allowed spot ETFs. These are exchange traded funds tied directly to the day-to-day -day movement of Bitcoin prices, known as the spot prices. Funds like Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, GBTC, and iShares, Bitcoin Trust ETF, iBit, are two of the most popular. Whether you should invest in cryptocurrency ultimately depends on your individual risk tolerance and investment goals. If you believe that cryptocurrency usage will become increasingly widespread over time, then it probably makes sense for you to buy some crypto directly as part of a diversified portfolio. Just be sure to do your research and manage your risk accordingly. We hope you liked this video. If you want more information on cryptocurrency, check out our other videos on our channel. Thank you for watching.